ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by today is the initial start of season two reloaded between warzone and vanguard today we are focusing just on vanguard we got the brand new i believe 1.15 title update across all platforms which kicks off some of the content for season two reloaded obviously we've got the warzone update happening later on this week as well but as you can see we do have plenty of patch notes to go over and break down today regarding what changed in this update as we go through it all if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it would be seriously appreciated and if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed every single day i got you covered with all things going on news updates loadouts tips you're gonna find it all right here so feel free to hit that sub button turn on those post notifications that way you'll always know whenever i post a new video but let's go ahead let's get into these patch notes so new season two content we've covered this previously on the roadmap a little bit but obviously we've got arms race coming we've got some new vehicles with that uh gustavo a brand new operator a new smg the armaguera 43 i'm probably mispronouncing that uh ranked plays got some new skill divisions and then also a brand new leaderboard there's new rewards for that as well zombies has some new stuff we got some new bundles going on plenty of stuff like that so let's start first with the multiplayer updates here on march 10th we got a little too excited and announced that a significant balance pass for snipers was live unfortunately those changes will not be available until the season two reloaded update well tomorrow they are coming let us know what you think so type 99 this one's for all you quick scopers out there a faster ads time and less sway while making it ideal for high risk high reward sniping uh but watch out for return fire you're not uh you're fast but not invincible three line reliability at its finest we decrease the flinch received when taking fire to allow players to maintain accuracy and then for the car 98k the jack of all trades sniper although it was already a popular choice we decreased its ads time to give it a better chance in close quarters combat so it'll be good for you know very aggressive sniping as well the type 99 whereas the three line is more of that well-rounded sniper uh we also have aim assist changes in vanguard season one we saw reports from players who suggested the aim assist was not always functioning as it should today we're optimistic we have fixed a bug that caused aim assist to intermittently deactivate while engaging an enemy player uh you know first off thanks for sharing the clips when functioning properly the aim assist system analyzes every frame of the game to determine if it should activate based on whether an enemy is currently in sight we call this player visibility check that's why in warzone sometimes you get aim assist like through walls on players or through buildings when you probably shouldn't be because of rotational aim assist uh this bug was a, an, a result of the system not waiting for the player visibility check in certain scenarios the aim assist system was left to assume that no player was visible so your aim assist just didn't activate so they've gone ahead and fixed that now for multiplayer patch notes stability improvement should result in better connectivity and lower rates of server disconnects so you love to see that uh scrolling through a large friends list will no longer kick players out of the social menu they also fix issues with the dev error 604 dev error 5573 and dev error 7272 so if you were experiencing those previously we should see some fixes to those as of today then also partially tomorrow with various content updates as well uh for gameplay obviously the aim assist issue that we just talked about destroy address an issue that allowed enemy nameplates to be seen through surfaces in various situations that's been a thing since like day one that was an issue back during like the beta on champion hill so i'm glad they fixed that progression they addressed an issue with uh with xp earn rates for some operators and also an issue with the hello there trophy uh for maps in this update we paid special attention to improving the overall quality of our multiplayer maps we've made efforts to improve spawn logic namely high intensity combat pacing selections so like blitz where these spawns are like sort of all over the place they've gone ahead and made some adjustments there these spawn changes uh are in tomorrow's update in the fixes and improvements to situational exploits uh there's no sweeping change to the spawn logic so for berlin they addressed an exploit that allowed players to reach unintended locations near the train yard they fixed some issues on bow cage on casablanca on castle on desert siege on dome obviously if you want to read the specifics here feel free to pause the video otherwise we'd be here for quite some time they fixed issues on gavutu gondola oasis paradise radar and sub pens as well so plenty of map fixes in relation to spawns and exploit areas uh for kill confirmed they addressed an issue that caused server disconnect errors kill confirmed has returned to the quick play filter so kc is now back uh for operators on thomas the date of birth was corrected then also on halima she'll no longer be invisible during the highlight intro for weapons we got the brand new armagera 43 like i said you can unlock this through an smg based challenge which i believe is to get uh 10 hip fire kills in 15 different matches or in zombies kill 400 frozen zombies with an smg so we can unlock that now we'll obviously have videos covering that for 
for Warzone. On the Sten, the unlocks no longer display incorrect textures. On the Wellgun, they fixed some issues there in the Gunsmith. On the KGM-40, they fixed a firing issue with the audio. On the Type 99, they made the adjustments that we talked about earlier, the decrease in the ADS time and weapon sway. On the 3-line, they decreased the weapon sway in the flinch. Then on the car, they decreased the ADS time as well. So big buffs there. Uh, for all snipers, they also decreased the flinch as well. For attachments on the uh, Type 99, the short barrel, they decreased the ADS time multiplier. And then on the 3-line with the Empress barrel, they decreased the over penetration range uh, a little bit as well. For the streaks, for the ball turret gunner, the usage is now properly tracked in the barracks on the scoreboard for ui and whatnot they made improvements to different operator quips and the subtitles there uh for the barracks they just an issue where players that reached level 1000 uh they couldn't see that correctly they added readability options in the settings and interface menu uh there's no longer an error that happens when you're in the social tab in the clans menu then they also adjust an issue where the view invite prompt would not function as intended for after action report stuff there was an issue there that was fixed and then for customization completionist camos will now properly display current progress that's nice and ideal then they also fixed some issues with the card frames titles and kill cam themes there were a few bundle fixes here as i'm sure you know the bundles it seems like every time a new one drops we just see more issues surface uh with them right like sometimes the blueprints don't work the operator skins look like they're nothing in the preview uh so they are fixing a handful of issues there primarily it looks like relating to blueprints other items padma Vadi will no longer be invisible during her highlight intro they just an out of bounds issue with the camera corrected audio and playing some uh certain operator quips several issues with watches have been resolved they fixed the alignment of weapon charms corrected the alignment of thomas's cigar and then also the uh, alignment of halima's bottle with some highlight intros there were a lot of ranked play changes today like I said, they added the top 250 skill division and the leaderboard there as well. So you'll see the top 250 players in the world there. There's also some brand new rewards that'll be available to grind out and, uh, and unlock if you're into that kind of stuff for ranked play. Uh, this includes some weapon blueprints, some camos, some charms, a spray, and then also a sticker. There's also some specific skill division rewards here as well, which is pretty cool. So there is actually quite a few things you can grind for within ranked, which I personally like. It's always nice to have like an end goal there too. They also expanded the party skill restrictions a little bit, which is now a little bit more lenient. And uh, it seems like a lot of players will be happy to see that finally addressed. For UI and, uh, updates here for my career and rewards, they added that so you can now see your rank, your rewards, your skill divisions for additional info there which is nice for progression they updated some things here your icon or your rank now sh uh, shows as like your icon in the lobby so you'll know who you're playing against players without a rank appear as unranked now so you'll know who's like on their first few matches there's uh, been some changes to the latter events as well for restrictions creative class kill streak and field upgrades now correctly display all restricted content i know that was an issue before they've made some general ui changes there as well uh they increased the number of stars earned in each ladder too so uh first place is now seven stars it was five before top five is six it was four before so they've made some adjustments there disconnect penalties another big one here the first player to disconnect or quit a ranked match will receive a time suspension so you can't be cheesing that any longer uh which is also pretty nice to see so just a handful of you know general quality of life improvements if you will for ranked play i'm glad they are putting that much emphasis on ranked because let's be honest it probably should have been in the game a while ago i'm happy to see that while it is a little late it is getting quite a bit of attention uh there were also several zombies updates here the big one server pause implemented for solo players is now a thing but you can only pause for up to two hours collectively i ain't gonna lie i feel bad for you zombies fans this year like this just is not like things that i would expect from a call of duty title that uh is this late into its uh, development cycle or like launch cycle right zombies definitely does not seem to be a super large priority it's unfortunate but there were some changes here obviously a server pause feature being a highlight this late into a game is interesting to say the least they also added some stuff with new covenants they updated some things on uh terra maledicta which i still don't know how to pronounce correctly there were some other bug fixes here if you're into zombies and you want to read these again feel free to pause the video we don't really cover that too much here on the channel and then they made one campaign update on uh, the lady nightingale mission they addressed an issue there where you couldn't perform a takedown which halted progression but that's effectively everything that ended up changing in this update it was mainly just quality of life updates obviously with a heavy emphasis on ranked play not much weapon tuning outside of the sniper stuff really though we are obviously uh you know focused on that content as well here between everything going on with the new maps the new arms race mode the new smg that was also a big part of the update as well outside of the patch notes but all that said that is effectively everything that ended up changing in the vanguard 1.15 or season 2 reloaded updates that's going to wrap things up for today if you enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed you already know every day i got you covered with everything going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button that way you can always stay up to date 
But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.